Welcome to Blueprint IoT. In this video, we will talk about UART briefly, what it is, what it isn't, and how to wire it. So UART refers to Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. So asynchronous is quite special because it means you need no common clock line. So the clock is normally giving you the rhythm, giving you the heartbeat of your communication. So everybody knows when you're transmitting and when you're supposed to receive. UART is not using a clock line. This comes with several advantages, like you don't need an actual clock line, you don't have to have settings for the exact same clock frequency. Those are all advantages. But obviously there are some challenges involved because the two systems, the two devices need to agree on a certain frequency to communicate to each other. Even though many people refer to UART as a bus, it actually isn't a bus. UART is much more of a point-to-point -point system. So two devices can communicate to each other as a semi-duplex one after each other. But let's check how to wire a UART system. So as mentioned already, you have a point-to-point -point communication, so you have two devices. And first thing you want to do is to have a common ground. So you connect the two grounds of the two devices, which is honestly the first thing to do with almost any communication system. You really want to make sure that device one and device two have the same understanding of what is a high and what is a low signal. Apart from ground, you have TX and you have RX. Those pins you have actually on both devices, not only on device one, not only on a master or slave device, you have the same pins on both devices. The TX is the transmitter pin on both sides and the RX is the receiver pin. So what you want to do is you want to connect the transmitter pin to the receiver pin on the second device. Vice versa, you want to connect the transmitter pin of the second device to the receiver pin of the first device. And again, this is not referring to any master or slave device. With UART, you have point-to-point -point communication. So it doesn't matter which one is used as a master or as a slave. They both communicate to each other on an equal level. So as mentioned before, and as you can see here, there is no clock line. So both devices need to agree on a baud rate. There are actually many commonly used rates, but I don't want to give examples here because there's really plenty of choice from lows until very highs. It really depends on the devices you use. I don't want to talk about bandwidth or transmission speed. It's also very difficult to give any limits because it depends all on the devices, how capable they are, not so much about the protocol. But for example, on an ESP32, you can transmit up to five megabits of data per second. So that's just an example. But again, that's not like the official limit or something like that. So that's basically all you need to know about UART, how to wire it and what is special about it. These days it's mostly used for peripherals or some sensors or maybe RFID modules you get for your Arduino or something like that. Nothing special, nothing fancy, not a bus system, but still quite a commonly used system. So here you go. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos about communication and actual bus systems, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, see you next time.